Hey guys, today we're back working at the dairy farm. Today guys, we're going to be planting 80 acres with the corn. It's going to be our first time doing any field work, first time planting, and it should be a lot of fun. Now really quickly guys, I do appreciate all the support on the first video with this series. I will be featuring this a few times a week here. Role play farming should be a lot of fun, and like always guys, there is a mods list down below. Over the last few days, guys, I've been organizing the farm, finding places for the equipment and the tractors, but back here behind the house is actually our heated and cooled uh, shop here. All of our other ones are cold storage, and we actually do have our 12-row planter inside here, along with all the tractors and the trucks. And guys, although we did buy some of these machines here at auction, they do need a little bit of work here. So I actually brought the planter in a few days ago, and I was just going through here. We had a few bearings that need to be replaced here, a little bit more work that I really need to get done here but we should be ready to go within the next few hours and I think hey why don't we use a John Deere 8410 here this is probably going to be our main tractor although we do have that big case there this uh, guys this deer is probably going to be our number one tractor until we buy something new something better this thing's just going to keep on working here and really quickly guys we got all the tools moved in no problem but uh, the old Ford guys it does need a little bit of work you're not really running right so that's gonna need some work here but we really got to get out into the fields so I'm gonna keep working on this hopefully we could get it all ready to go all right guys after some work here we're all ready to go we're gonna get the cedar attached here and we do need to buy seed here now a few things guys the local neighbors our neighbors that are farmers even some that own properties houses around came over and welcome us to the area here and one of them I was talking with I really uh, was getting some great advice from him and he mentioned that he had an old free trailer we could have here he said it's like 20 years old it's at one of his farms and we're gonna go take a look at it he said it's free just to use it so I'm thinking why don't we go get that and then we'll use that to pick up the seed all right, that should be good here. Let's put the PTO. Let's get it all attached here. And I will say, guys, I do want to be as realistic as possible with this series. That's something I really do want to strive for here. And it's something I always try to do here in my videos. That is a little bit of a tight squeeze, but we made it on out. Uh, luckily, the 12 row folds up like to a 6 row, which really does come in pretty handy. But really quickly, guys, I do kind of just want to double check a few things here. We do have to head over into town. I was trying to buy seed. The co-op is completely booked they sold all their seed to different farmers in town and local John Deere dealership had a little bit left over uh, so we're gonna go uh, probably buy four or five pallets worth of seed here but yeah it looks like everything's good to go so let's hop in the truck let's head into town Let's get the old 1986 Ford fired on up here. Now, you guys might be asking, Square, this is a dairy farm. Where are the animals? Well, guys, it's going to take us a few weeks here, maybe even a few months to really get ramped on up. Now, I was thinking we could uh, buy the cows. Probably we're going to start with 100 cows, and we're probably going to have just a few chickens to kind of just run around here. But what I'm thinking is we could buy the cows now, and we could start to buy uh, the food and all the grain we need uh, from different farmers, or we could try to build up a supply then buy it let me know down below here I am thinking uh, once we get up and running once we get everything planted we'll probably uh, buy the, the cows and we'll have to buy some until we could really produce it ourselves uh, come this harvest and things like that here but like always guys I do want to be realistic and I will say I am so so excited for the new farming series here but we're actually coming up on the property here he said it's oh yeah I could actually see it there in the driveway he said it was worn out he said it didn't need a little bit of fixing but uh, we could take it off his hands for free. Oh boy, guys. Wow, that is definitely uh, showing its age here. It is completely covered in rust. Oh, wow. That uh, hopefully we don't have any problems here. It looks like some of the wood is rotten, but it looks to still be in decent shape here. Looking at this, oh, a few of these tires, guys, are completely dry rods. That is not a good thing. We're going to have to get some new tires, but I think, guys, we're going we're gonna to have to make it work for today if we uh, kind of bring this back to our farm, work on it. This is two, three days worth of uh, work, uh, and I think we really need to get the seed in the ground. All right, guys, I think we're just going to have to make it work here. Hopefully, we don't have any problems. I did talk to a farmer. He said the last time he used it was actually this past fall, so I don't think it's in too rough of a shape here, but this is definitely a project. Once we get planting, once we get up and running, I do want to buy some older farm equipment, kind of bring it back uh, to uh, original shape here, remove rust, things like that here, but we're going to head 
head to the John Deere dealership. Four bags of seed is pretty expensive. It's like four or five thousand uh, dollars a bag here. So let's go pick up the seed and hopefully we don't have any problems here. Now I am a bit more worried with a full load of seed on it than it is empty because that's probably going to be maybe a thousand pounds worth of weight. Now, if you guys do want to see more farming action, go check out Square Farms. I am posting weekly time-lapse videos, and we're going to be starting a new farming series over there very, very soon. I can't wait for that as well. And uh, my goal is to bring you guys more farming, more uh, uh, different farming series, uh, which is going to be pretty sweet here. But we're actually heading over to the Case Dealership. I misspoke. It's actually the Case Dealership, but they do also sell John Deere. And this is what we're going to do here. Now, we do have to find the seed. I'm not sure where it is here, but hopefully they let us even load it up here. Maybe they see the trailer and uh, say you can't do it. But oh yeah, looks like they have the forklift out front. Oh yeah, that's all right here for us. Well guys, I just went inside. They said they're a bit busy, so they gave me the keys. They said load it up yourself here. We're going with Pioneer Seed, uh, three, four thousand dollars a bag. Uh, but this should do lots of acres here. I do want to plant a few more. Maybe we could rent a few fields from a farmer. I really want to have as much crop as we can here because we do need the corn, not only uh, the grain, but we also do need it uh, for silage and to make silos. And we're going to be using the uh, chaff uh, uh, combine. Uh, harvester there as well so there's a lot that goes into a dairy farm here but hey I'm up for the challenge here we're gonna make it work we're, we're gonna make the pro uh, farm profitable and I definitely want to do some multiplayer videos maybe some of you guys can come in game and help us on out at the farm I think that'll be a lot of fun we're coming up on the last pallet here and you guys can see the trailer is definitely showing its age here hopefully we can get on back uh, you guys can see we probably have a little bit too much tongue weight here but th that's probably not the big problem here it's an old worn out trailer but hey it was free and we're just just gonna use it until it does need some fixing so we're all good to go I do want to put some straps here on it that way we do not get stopped by the DOT and we don't lose any going down the road oh man guys did you hear that looks like we just blew a few tires here let's get on to the side of the road we're actually on a pretty busy country road and there's cars flying by at 45 50 miles per hour but oh boy guys look at that both these tires are completely flat here. Looks like we do have a little bit of damage to the rims here. But guys, we are just about a mile from our farm here. And I would say we could call a tow truck. But this is going to take the entire day. So what I'm thinking is we're just going to have to limp it back here. I'm going to have to go 1-2 miles per hour. Just taking it extremely slow with our hazard lights on. We have two flat tires. But I think we have enough rubber uh, just to get the trailer even to the side of the field that we're going to be planting. That's all we need to do here. So I'm going to hop back in I'm gonna probably put the camera down I really need to focus here we're on a very busy street cars are flying by at 45 50 miles per hour here so I'm gonna try to uh, get as close as we can to the side of the road here and just slowly get on back to the farm all right, guys, we're turning into the fuel now. We'll, we'll just kind of pull off to the gravel here. I will say, guys, we were able to make it. I am a bit surprised. Now, I did hear a few more uh, loud noises. So really quickly, we'll just double check it here. But two flat tires, I think that they were just dry rods. They sat outside for too long. Oh, boy, guys, the leaf spring. The entire axle is completely broken now with that weight. It just did not like that. Wow, guys. Uh, luckily, we're on the side of the road. Our farm is just right there. So what we're going to have to do... We are going to have to just kind of unload this, but uh, hey, why don't we go get the planter and get seeding because this was a field we need to get planted. It's 80 acres and we're going to be planting it with corn. Let's get the 8410 fired on up here. Now we do need to fold this to go across the street here, but I think unloading it, putting it right in the planter is the way to go here because we don't have a front loader. We do not have a skid steer. And I think we're going to have to start to look into getting one of those soon, guys. We're just starting out. We don't have much money and we don't have much equipment here. So this is a bit of a challenge, but we just have to make ends meet until we have enough and sell enough crop to make more money to buy more things. Alright, let's get the planter backed up here. You guys can see, look at all that little detail there. I will say, guys, I really do like it. We're filling up with seed. Let's just double check here. We do want each of these to be nice and even. Oh, yeah, boys. That does look pretty cool here. My first time seeding in farm sim in a pretty long time. And this is a pretty exciting day here for us. But I'm, I'm actually thinking, yeah, we should probably start here. That way we're going down uh, the big steep hill here. But let's put the cedar down. 
let's get it fired on up here. Now, we do not have auto steer. I do need to look at that. Maybe I might get chorus play. Maybe I might just hire a worker here in game. But there's so many cool things I want to do. Now, I do also want to bring the, that camera and tripod along with me. I think that would also be a ton of fun here. But, guys, we're planting for the first time. Although we had a few hiccups with that old trailer, that farm trailer broke on us. We're still planting. We're just so determined to put it in the ground here today. This 80 acres is probably going to take us probably the rest of today here. This was really my main goal, and we might have a breakdown. Might need to uh, grease a few things here. Probably refill a few times. But other than that, guys, we're we're ready to get rolling. Now, guys, this is a 12-row planter here, and uh, this is a nicely plowed field here. Looks like the person we bought it from plowed it, and then probably just didn't realize they were going to put it up for sale. But so far, guys, I did hop on out. I did check the depth, and we're all good to go there for this seed. Now, we will have to put some fertilizer, but I'm thinking maybe we could just put manure down here. We already have a manure spreader, and I think there is a, probably a few farmers that would uh, just give us enough to get a few fields done. Now all the farmers do work together so we might just be able to get the manure from them but I do want to do a full outline here that way we aren't really turning around on the edges of the street or even a crop and you guys can see that I believe this is like a two three hundred acre field right next to us and that is a pretty big one here it looks to be cotton uh, I'm not sure if that's uh, pretty big in this area but you guys can see wow look at this tractor it's really putting in the work the uh, old 8410 even though it's a little bit older a little probably a little bit or, uh, worn out it still does its job just like a new tractor here but like always there is a full mods list every single mod we use is public and can be found over there Guys, we're making pretty good progress here with the 8410. We're about a quarter of the way done. So far, no problems. I actually had to hop out of the tractor a few times to pick up a few rocks, and I actually have them by my foot. And uh, those rocks are uh, definitely and probably not the best to have here in the field. But I will say, guys, it is so awesome to be back here doing field work. I really want to focus uh, more on uh, kind of roleplay farming here on the channel. Maybe even another series, two series going at the same time. But, guys, I think we're... We're going to probably do two or three videos a week here. They would be second videos uh, to go along with the main video here. But I will say, guys, it is definitely a workout uh, to ha run a tractor here without auto steer. Even just the back and forth here of the ruts and the plow uh, ruts is a bit tricky here. But we're making pretty good progress. But, guys, I think I'm going to call it a day here uh, for a recording and finish up here off camera. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a lot of fun. We're putting uh, to work the 84. 410 here look at all the mud on the tractor hey that's what it's supposed to be but hope you guys enjoyed today's video thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more